Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I love, sense, happy Shabbat. Happy Shabbat. Uh, I, I was supposed to do this prayer marathon yesterday on Friday. But man, I got so exhausted. I couldn't even think straight. You know, I've been going and going and going. So thank you for and your understanding. But the good news is we're going to do it on Shabbat. Uh, today's uh, message is Seven Drops of Blood Prayer Marathon. We have a prayer marathon today. Hallelujah. Uh, this prayer marathon is probably going to be in two or three parts before we exhaust that what God wants to give to us. I'm telling you today, if you are, I want you to get your communion elements ready. Every time we do, on this particular prayer marathon, every time we do it, we're going to end up having Holy Communion at the end of the broadcast after we pray. Uh, get ready for massive deliverance. Get ready for blood disorders. Blood disorders to be healed. Every time I speak about the blood of Jesus, I see blood disorders getting fixed. You know, it makes sense. We are talking about the blood of Jesus. Okay, so get ready for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you're excited uh, to be on this prayer marathon, I want you to jump simply to type the number one in the comment section. Let me know you are on fire. You are excited to hear what I have to say and the prayers I have to pray that are connected to the seven drops of blood. Seven drops of blood. Okay. Okay, I see you. I mean, just type that number one. I mean, look, look at those ones going, 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 going. Look at those ones. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. People are fired up. Amen. Praise the Lord. So again, blood disorders are going to get healed today in Jesus' name. There's even a woman watching us right now that literally you are, it's almost like the book of, it's almost like Mark chapter 5 for you. You know, the bleeding, uh, once you have that month, the end uh, time of the month, the bleeding is very excessive and God, and it leaves you completely drained. You know, you sometimes you have even felt like you're going to pass out. God is going to heal uh, the issue of blood in your life. You know, it's going to break the curse connected to your blood. In today, in Jesus' mighty name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Okay. Now, as our custom is, now I want you to tell me where you are watching from so I can give a shout out to you. All right, we got people that are watching from Botswana. Okay, Botswana, look at that. All right, people, I'm going to be in Botswana at the end of the month for Easter. Look at that. Watching Del Brown, watching from Kings, watching from where? Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. God bless you. Somebody watching from Saudi Arabia. So my God, first time I had somebody from Saudi Arabia. That is beautiful. My God, I just love that. Somebody from Saudi Arabia, look at that Jesus. Lorraine from Saudi Arabia, God bless you. That shows proof to show you. Jesus has his people in every part of the world. Even in the Muslim world, the Lord still has his own people in those nations. Jasmine from India, God bless you. Hallelujah. Jacinto from uh, Nairobi, Kenya, Wanjiku, God bless you. Hallelujah. Namibia. Say somebody from Namibia. If you are in Namibia or South Africa, you need to uh, make, make your way. I mean, South Africans and Namibians, you love your vacations, you love your holidays. Well, spend your Easter weekend with me in Gaboron, Botswana. I guarantee you, you are never going to be the same. You are not going to regret it. I can tell you that. It's going to be just amazing. It's going to be amazing. Okay, somebody from Texas. Rembo from Texas. I'm going to be in San Antonio, Texas in July with Kerry Souza. Hallelujah. Praise to our gazelle from Gambia. I pray for Gambia. You know, that I pray for the government in Gambia. There's some things happening in Gambia. Pray for Gambia, everybody. Uh, Joanne in Canada. I'm going to be there in Vancouver. I started Brenda, a man from, uh, a man from Dream Genesis, Zambia. Somebody in Arrogate from Ukundi, Tanzania. Or somebody from Finland. Man, I love to come to Finland. Praise God. Thomas View, North Carolina. Irene, we bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. 
Everence from Namibia. Oh, I think I remember meeting you guys, meeting you, Everence. I think you uh, you might be the one that came to the King's Conference. Hopefully you can come to Gaboron, be with me. Uh, Kenya is in the house. Uh, Brazil is in the house. Look at that, Brazil, Hadassah. Okay, praise God. I'm USA, greetings, man of God from Oma, Nebraska. Oma, preaching in Oma, Nebraska. I know it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Francis Melchizedek. Whoa. Watching from Zambia. Look at that. Margaret from Polokwane. I preach in Polokwane. My God, I've been everywhere. Nishana, New York City. I've been in New York several times. Being in Malaysia. I, pre I've been, I was in Omoa. Omoa, Malaysia. I haven't been to Kuala Lumpur yet, but I was Moa in Malaysia. Loto. Lucia, uh, Lucia from South Africa. Look at God. Look at the Lord. Cameroon. I love me some Cameroonian people. I've been to Cameroon several times. Yaonde. The police commissioner is a dear friend of mine there. Okay. Kenya and Elizabeth. Look at that. Jackie Winston from Namibia. You, Jackie, you need to come to Gaboron and support me. Love to see you. Washington. Emel in Washington. Okay. This uh, Washington. Okay. Then uh, Abraham in the UK. Abraham Morgan. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. My God, my friends, you are coming. Mississippi, Victoria, Mississippi is in the house. Lord Jesus, Gazelle, love that of the mouse. And then joyful Las Vegas. Ah, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know what? Miranda, look at that. In Illinois, Illinois is in the house. New Zealand is in the house. Wow, look at that. Just love it, love it, love it, love it. So since I'm telling you, if you got any member of your family with blood disorders, this is the one you can stand in proxy for them. Or if you've got any blood disorders, high blood pressure, lupus, uh, sickle cell anemia, anything, uh, I mean, bleeding issues, I mean, I mean, blood disorders today, get ready because God is going to do some things today. I'm going to be talk taking you through the seven drops, through the seven places where Jesus, on his way to Calvary, on Golgotha, we know that Jesus shed his blood eight times. Uh, in on earth, but he shed his blood seven times on the day of redemption. So I'm focusing on the day of redemption, but for the for, but um, but for the sake of uh, being theologically accurate, the eighth time, the eighth time, uh, Judas shed his blood on the earth eight times. Uh, the first time was when he was circumcised as a child. Uh, he shed his blood. Okay, all right, and that blood is the blood that you can appropriate for the sanctification of your sexuality. Okay, so that you are not drawn into lustful things because you are sanctified. You know, when a man is cast, when, when a man in, in, in ancient Israel was, um, uh, what is it, circumcised, they circumcised his private parts, meaning that his private parts or his, his genitalia was being dedicated to the Lord for righteousness. And the covenant of God came on, on the genitalia so that whatever you produce, uh, in terms of children, is already sanctified by that covenant. That was the implication, but it also protects your sexuality from the demonic manipulations we are seeing today around issues of sexuality. So if you've got, if you've got a child, a daughter, a son, or even a husband who can't control, you know, can't stop putting his pants down, or a, or a, or a daughter who sleeps with everybody, you know, or whatever, or, or what, a wife who is promiscuous, you know, or, or a child now who's confused about their sexuality, you need to go before the Lord and ask the Lord to appropriate over that child or that person the blood of Jesus that was shed when the Messiah was circumcised because that deals with sexuality and sanctification of our sexual members. That is a revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. If that is, you know, if you've never heard that before, type me, type in the comment section and say, my God, that's a new revelation for me. I did not know Christ shed his blood eight times. Okay, but today we are we are focusing we are focusing on the seven drops on the day or uh, he died and he, he was crucified. But there is eight times in in the in the whole Bible that he shed his blood. Okay, Hallelujah, that's amazing. That is amazing. Praise God, Hallelujah. I'm seeing some people with rare blood disorders already being resonating. I'm telling you today is going to be a, a day of healing. Many of you in a couple of weeks or a couple of days, you'll be telling me, man of God, since that day, I, I listened to you on the seven drops of blood. You know, uh, my God, man of God, I've been so delivered. 
Okay, hallelujah. And for some of you, be like, my God, my, my daughter was struggling with her sexuality. My son was struggling with her sexuality. But when I heard that revelation about the circumcision of Jesus, I went before the Lord and I asked that blood, that blood of Jesus that was shed, not on the cross, that was shed, uh, that was shed on the day Mary and Joseph circumcised him to keep with the law of Moses. That's the blood that deals with issues of sexuality. Okay. You know, everything God does is specific. God never wastes anything, especially blood. He doesn't waste it at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Praise. Somebody, you have been diagnosed with clothing in your blood. The doctors are very worried. They, you know, and you are terrified of having a of having a stroke. They're telling you if this doesn't change, you're gonna have a stroke. God's gonna heal you. If that's you, and I'm locating you by the word of knowledge, just um, uh, 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 please respond in the comment section by the Holy Ghost. Now, before we go into the actual teaching, I want to also just quickly, I just want to quickly uh, do this. I want to quickly, uh, um, there's a couple of things that I want to make sure I talk about before we run with what the Lord has for us in the Holy Spirit, okay? Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is this. This is absolutely the most important meeting I'm doing this year. One of the most important meetings. One of the most important meetings. This conference is the favorite of all my conferences. Why? It's presence-driven. It is focused on personal ministry, prophecy, getting you soaked in the Holy Ghost. We'll leave you. We don't care if you are knocked out by the power of the Holy Ghost and don't listen to another session, provided you are under divine surgery and God is changing you, we don't care. So when you come to the theaters of glory, you will see bodies of people laid out while preachers are preaching because it's the presence-driven meeting. That's why we call it three days of glory. And the theme for this year is glory on the mountaintop. But I believe today, this year is a year of rising. To, you know, But the glory of the Lord you know, when Jesus went on the mountain of transfiguration, he met a glory. He, the, the disciples encountered the glory they had never seen in the valley. You see, my friend, you know, there's glory that keeps you in the valley, you know, or works for you in the valley. is not the glory of the mountaintop. That is what you need to get, and it will be changed forever. So I'm going to be speaking more because there's been an outcry from my, my followers. Dr. Miles, we love you. But when we come to your conferences, how come other people, you know, you only speak once or twice. We, we don't like that. We want to hear you speak. Well, I've heard you. So this year, I'm, I got a bunch of sessions this year where I'm going to where I'm, I'm gonna be on fire. But my God, I got Apostle Tommy Arayomi, prophet and, a, prophet and Apostle Tommy Arayomi is in Houston. This Nigerian prophet is become the Kim Clement, the black Kim Clement of our time. My God, you want you talk about accurate prophecy and and, and and revelation. You want to be there. Apostle Jeremiah Horsford is the is the bishop of the church we are using. But I'm telling you, he's a firebrand. I've never. I mean, you ever if you ever seen Rod Parsley? That I mean, that white man, where a white man in. A, I mean, you see a white man, but you you like my God. I mean, there must be a black man in there. There's no white man can preach like this. He will preach the fire of God into your shoes, man. You know, and then Dr. Jason Revenue, my God, a general, I'm telling you, hallelujah, he's a, such a general, the devil tried to buy him with a billion dollars, and he said no at the United Nations. That's the kind of guy we're talking about, you know, he's going to be with us, and of course, my wife and Dr. Linda Vega, it's going to be an amazing time. And then the worship is IHOP, the people from IHOP in Kansas City, and Prince Siame from Zambia, who's now located to Georgia. They are going to be leading worship. You know, it's going to be incredible. So guess what? Registration is available to you right now. Right now, you know, the 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 right now you can do it. Right now you, okay, right now you can, uh, you can just uh, go for it. It's, 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 uh, you can go to events.francismiles, you know, dot com. And I'm telling you, you are going to find out that uh you know the, the the registration is live now so i want all my us people all my canadians get on the plane get on the car come i promise you 
This is a money back guarantee type of guarantee. You will not leave that place the same way you came. It's not a cliche. You'll be soaked in the anointing. We don't play at three days of glory. All my speakers are chosen by one thing. Do they walk in the glory or do they just talk, 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 talk? Or do they walk in the glory? Do they let people, do they bring, does the glory shows up when they show up? Does miracles happen when they open their mouth? So all the people, that's why they are chosen. Do they, can they ring, can they ring your bell with the word of knowledge that will make you cry and cry out to God? That's why they are chosen. So hopefully many of you might join me in America. And if you can join me uh, in person, then guess what? You can join me by via live streaming because even the live streaming is now available to go. So you can join us for that amazing live stream. So hopefully many of you can join us. Okay. Now for the people in Botswana uh, and South Africa, I'm going to be in Botswana the 28th to the 31st in Gaboron for the Battle of Otis Courts of Heaven Conference. You know, and um, you don't want to miss that. You know, the church name is called New Season Ministries. So you can Google them. They are on Facebook. They are on Google. You can find it. It's going to be four days. And my books are coming. Most importantly, I'm coming with my beautiful wife. It's going to be an amazing time. So Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, even Zimbabwe. What are you waiting on? Drive and check it, check us out. It's going to be amazing. Okay. I know I'm going to be in Zimbabwe in April, so I'm going to be talking about that next week. I'm going to be in Zimbabwe in April, but uh, right now I'm very excited in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Okay. All right. So let's get ready. Uh, let's get now. now. And one more thing I want to talk about here uh, uh, is I'm trying to get this stuff out of the way because I'm going to run with these announcements. Okay. Finally, this March the 12th, March the 12th, March the 12th, that means this coming Tuesday, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to launch what had been a lifelong dream for Dr. Miles. You know, hallelujah. There'll be a live stream teaching, you know, right there. Those are the times. So if you live in, uh, for the USA it's eight, and Canadians, it's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's, it's going to be 2 a.m. for those of us in Zambia and Southern Africa. It's going to be 1 a.m. in Nigeria. I believe it will be midnight in the UK or the European Union this Tuesday. This what Tuesday? Uh, we are launching the Order of Melchizedek Masterclass University online. This has been a lifelong dream. Trust me, I'm going to be taking you through 12 through 18 incredible modules on the Melchizedek priesthood, on the gospel of the kingdom, the priesthood, altars, the tabernacle of David. I mean, Holy Communion. I'm telling you, it's going to be intense. You are not, I mean, it's like the Bible school on steroids, except you get there faster than people who spend thousands of dollars going to Bible colleges. So you can simply sign up right now at 50% discount, you know, at francismouse.com for us as OM school. Or you can do um, a, uh, installments. We have an option where you can you can join the school uh, by and by paying five months of installments, it still gets you there, and you join us for what you. I tell you, you never forget as a school that will change everything. All right, now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get into her. Huh, what the Lord is trying to talk to us about. The seven drops of blood. Okay. I want to just talk to you about the book. Of, so I'm going to give you a couple of things I want you to look at. Because today I want to deal with some things and I'm quickly going to begin to pray. It's a prayer marathon. So I don't want to teach long. Uh, really, very, I want to be very short in my teaching and longer in my praying. Because we want to do these miracles. I already can see from the comments we have a lot of things to deal with. The Lord has a lot of prayers to answer from his people. You know, just from what I'm seeing. You know, from what you people are putting out, I'm like, okay, God, we, you know, you you gotta show yourself strong. Your people are crying out; they need to hear from you, Lord. Okay, and you know the good news: you will hear, you hear from God today. Okay, so in, uh, so we begin with Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Took scientists a long time to discover that, but God said it already. The life of the flesh is in the blood. 
okay? Because spirits don't have blood, but flesh has blood. And the life of the flesh is in the blood. So when the enemy attacks your blood, he's attacking your life. And I have given it to you. God has given it to you. So blood is a gift from God. Not only is it the life of the flesh, is a gift from God. That's why whenever you shed blood, God marks you. Even the earth will curse you or the earth will begin to go into convulsions because blood is, is a very, very, very noble and sacred currency in the realm of spirit. I have given to you upon the altar. So what is he telling us? And whatever you see God put blood, there's an altar there. Okay, God never puts his blood. God never wastes blood. In the old covenant, whatever God put blood, there was an altar. Okay, that means whatever blood, if there was an altar, then the blood becomes a medium of its, becomes pays for the exchanges that are going to happen on the altar. I've given it to you upon the altar. So when, when we talk about the seven drops of blood, we are saying these are the seven places where Jesus the Messiah shed his blood. Meaning, if, if Leviticus 17 verse 11 is true and God kept faith with this scripture because the scriptures cannot be broken and God does not violate the word. It means, therefore, my brothers and sisters, when our master Jesus on that day of Via Darosa, you know what they call the famous Via Darosa. I have been to Israel and I've been to the famous Via Darosa, the, the route that Yeshua took where he met Simon of Cyrene, a black man, and he put the cross. Thank God, black people, we are the first people, my God, to test the blood of Jesus because we, we became part of the helps ministry of lifting the cross of Jesus all the way to Calvary. That's why God is going to use black people like never before in the last days because, again, you know, uh, that was very prophetic that the black man helped Jesus when he couldn't carry the cross again. So I think they exist within the psyche of the... Uh, black men, the ability to suffer for the Lord and carry the cross of Christ. But again, that can happen to any any one of God's children. All right, but I just wanted to make that comment. And that was very interesting that Simon Simon from Niger or maybe present day Nigeria, we we'll never know. He was the one, Simon of Cyrene or Cyrene, Cyrene, whatever, or Niger or Niger, one of the one of those areas. And I've given it to you upon the altar to what to make atonement for the soul. To make what? Atonement for the soul. Okay? In other words, atonement means to bring the soul, to make the soul one one with God. Atonement at one at, at one with God at any moment. Okay? Okay, to make atonement or for the soul or to make a redemption for the soul. Okay? Hallelujah. That tells us the blood has the power to cure the trauma in your soul. So there are some of you right now, you have not been healed because you're carrying traumas. As a matter of fact, yeah, so as a matter of fact, there is a person watching me right now. You lost your marriage to your best, best friend. You, I mean, you actually, you walked up on, you walked, you literally walked up, walked up, walked on on them doing the thing and you collapsed. I, I, how do I know it, that that trauma is with you? You know, you haven't spoken to this woman, you know, uh, for a while you suffered, you struggled with heavy hatred because you cannot believe how how could she whatever you know if that is you and i'm locating you by the word of knowledge please uh, recognize yourself in the comment section not to embarrass you but to let you know god has you on his schedule today in jesus matter name okay i'm looking for you in the comment section i mean I'm, i was that word of knowledge was very specific it can't be everybody okay hallelujah praise god thank you jesus okay so if you are the one I'm talking about, just say, man of God, you are, you are, you are describing my situation exact to the T. Then I'll know it's you. Hallelujah. I'll make atonement for your soul, for it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Uh, the, the amplifier said it's the blood that makes atonement for the soul by the reason of the life it represents. Okay? So I'm telling you, this is why blood is needed at altars. Why do witches need blood? Because they need life. You know, I've noticed how these witches never get old. Some of these witches never get old. You know why? Because they are sucking the blood of the believer. They are sucking the blood of people. And that's why they are able to live long. Why do you think abortion of, of babies is a big deal? They need blood of babies to keep young. That's why some of them, they are 70, but they look like they're 50. And you think, oh my God, I need the adopter. No, baby, you don't need the adopter. The adopter is the devil. And they drink the blood to stay, to stay, to stay young 
Okay, but we don't need that because we have the light of God. We have the light of God and we have Christ who is our light in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, so if you're caught in trauma, be ready to be delivered today. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing because God is speaking by the Holy Spirit. God is speaking by the Holy Spirit. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said, Jack, you located me, Dr. Mouse. Okay. All right. All right. God, thank you. That was a traumatic thing. I can say, I'm sure it was a very traumatic. She said, wow. 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 Jill says you're describing what my husband did. You know what? Jill, God's, God's got your back. God's got you. I mean, the word of knowledge was very specific. Wow. Karama katorobo. Makarabalebedebo sata. So the traumas, I mean, God, I'm telling you, God's going to do something very powerful. Let me continue to give you some scripture very quickly because I want to pray and then go home. I'm going to go home tomorrow. I'm preaching. By the way, if you, uh, you know, if you go to uh, Facebook and type in Dream Genesis Church International, you can always find my Sunday, my Sunday messages that I preach at my church in Africa. We live stream them to Facebook. Even if you miss it, you can always go and enjoy it's just, all you have to do is go to Francis, go to Dream Genesis, Dream Genesis Church, um, Dream Genesis Church, um, in Church International, Dream Genesis Church International uh, on um, Facebook. And I can tell you, you find us, you know, hallelujah. Uh, praise God. Okay, let's continue. So now we're going to look at the first time. Uh, first, let's say one, one more scripture I want, I, want, I want to look at. Then look at the first two. Then we'll go into the seven places. Today, we are only going to deal with two places. That means we have got a part, five, five other parts to go through. So this prayer marathon will probably be the longest, we've, the longest prayer marathon we've done because I don't want to rush this thing on the blood of Jesus. I want, it on, I want this stuff on the blood of Jesus to remain on YouTube for you and your children, your husband, you know, when you're at work or you're going to sleep and you want Dr. Mao speaking the blood of Jesus over you as you sleep. I was, I have a mother, so I throw people tell me now their children refuse to go to sleep until they put me on, on YouTube and then their children go to sleep. So these prayer marathons are being used by people to sleep, uh, to sleep to these people are sleeping to the sound of my voice, praying and teaching. So that is powerful. Well, in Hebrews 2.24, the Bible says, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator of the new covenant, and, the, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks, the blood of Yeshua speaks. That's why it can silence demonic entities. It will speak in your soul. It will speak to entities. It will speak to shrines that are working against you. It speaks better things than that of Abel. That means that better things means it has it has a higher level of authority. The sound of the voice of the blood of Jesus has the higher level of authority and testimony than the blood of Abel or the blood of any human being. So I don't care if um, uh, a human being was sacrificed to generate witchcraft against you. Their blood and the power it gave those witches is nothing compared. To the power the blood of Christ gives to you because it speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. I'll never forget a woman who was completely insane in South Africa, in Mamelodi, who got supernaturally delivered in one of my healing, healing services in Mamelodi. I had a service with a man of God called Apostle Silo Dilamini. I think he's still in Mamelodi. And he was hosting me. And my God, this woman was completely insane. Then I had a word of knowledge. And I say, I see a woman who's seeing a vision of Jesus standing over her. And Jesus is holding a bucket of blood. He's holding a bucket of blood. I said, who are you? Who are you? I said, Jesus is holding a bucket of blood. And he is, you know, who are you? And when I said that, I, I, and I forget what happened, that a woman a woman from an old woman, an old Zulu woman from the back of the building of the surf. I mean, she jumped on board. She jumped and she started running towards me, screaming, Moroti, Moroti. But she was coming like she was going to, like she was a linebacker, in, you know, the like defensive back in the NFL. She was going to slam me down. You know, the ashes got in between us, but she was not going to do it. She was overwhelmed because she brought a 26 year old 
a niece of us who had not spoken an intelligent word since she was 18 when she went insane and lost her brain, lost her mind. She would just would be gibberish, you know, and so she was a 24-hour caretaker, the grandmother to this granddaughter. And she bought her because they told there's a man of God who works in miracles from Zambia who's coming. And uh, and uh, he told my God, what a miracle that was. You know, she's, and then the woman was brought, she was speaking fluently and she had never read the Bible in her life, but she described Jesus as though she was reading the book of Revelation chapter one. It was amazing. And she go, our, our mind came back completely. That's the blood we are dealing with saints today. So we ain't playing around. We're not fooling around. We ain't playing around because God is going to do something very, very powerful for you and I right now. I can even sense the healing anointing is already beginning to pause it. Pause it. I'm feeling it right now. That it, I, I'm not even, before I even get to say, telling you to, or, or uh, before I even begin to pray, some of you, I'm seeing you being healed right now. I see people shaking like this. You know, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Somebody actually watching us, you are just so a vision of the blood of Jesus, you know, covering you. And you began to, you are shaking uncontrollably. That's a power of God because you are being delivered from insomnia. You are being delivered from insomnia, saith the Lord. Whoa, this is good stuff. I'm telling you, the Lord is speaking today. Okay, what is next? Now, let's look at the two places where Jesus shed his blood and the evil altars is destroyed in those two places. And then we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Okay, the first time, Yeshua, on the day he died, the day he was crucified, there, are his, there were seven places where he dropped blood, where he shed his blood. Most people don't even know that. They think the only place where Jesus shed his blood was on the cross. That's not true. There were seven other, there were other places where Yeshua shed his blood before he got to the cross. And the first place where Yeshua shed his blood does amazing things. And I want to just work with you on that one, but it's going to be amazing. Okay? Check this out. Okay? The first place where Jesus shed his blood is in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I've taken teams to Israel, so I've seen, I know that garden. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling to the ground. Why would God put blood on the ground? That would seem like a waste. I mean, you drop, blood just drops to the ground. God wastes nothing. And if you understand what that drop of blood did for you, you can release your faith because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so God, the blood doesn't die. The blood of Jesus never loses its efficacy because it's eternal because Jesus connected it to the throne of God in heaven when he met Magdalene and told her, don't touch me on the third day when he rose from the dead. I have to go to God. He went to take the blood. The blood is ever fresh. It doesn't dry up. If the blood of Jesus remained on the earth, earth it would have dried up none of us would have been able to reach out and get cleansed it is because he took the blood to the throne to the mercy seat in heaven and it has eternal quality it never dies it is ever fresh and it's ever speaking so whatever benefits it purchased on the earth are available to you today you better claim it right now so i'm gonna give you a couple of things and i'm gonna every time i give you where the blood was dropped we, I will pray a prayer for you in Jesus' name. I'm giving you two places, but at every place, I'll stop and begin to pray those things that I'm saying in, that, that it, into your life. I'm telling you, get ready for the power of God to explode. Get ready for deliverance. Get ready for healing. Get ready to see things turn around in your marriage. Get ready to see your business respond to the oracle of the blood of Jesus. Get ready to see things move in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, and it says this. Okay, and being in agony, this is in the Amplify, uh, and dressed distressed and anguished, almost the point of death, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. So the first time Jesus shed his blood was in the Garden of Gethsemane, just before he, he was crucified. You know, this is very powerful. Why did he shed his blood there? And what, what was he trying to kill? Well, listen, one of the things one of the things Jesus went to destroy, because remember, a curse came upon man 
uh, a curse came upon Adam, the Adam, the Adamic race, which were part of that Adamic race. You know, but thank God we're now in the, we are now part of the uh, the race of the last Adam, the royal race, the holy the holy priesthood race. Okay, but we every human being is born in the Adamic race, the first Adamic race, and that's why we act the way we act of the of, of the kind of uh, a sick minds we have, full of full of uh, you know uh, full of stuff. It's because this is what happened. On in Genesis three, verse seventeen to nineteen, the Bible says, "Then to Adam he said, because you have heeded the voice of your wife." And have not uh, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat of it. Check this out. Cursed is the ground for your sake. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In you, in toil, you shall eat of it. Hard labor. Toil is hard labor. Nothing comes easily. If that I didn't listen to me, there are people watching you love Jesus, but nothing comes easily to you. That is a curse of Genesis 3. Today, as I pray, I'm coming against, in Jesus' name, the curse on the ground of your business. I'm coming against the curse on the ground of your marriage. I'm coming against the curse on the ground of your career because it was removed. It was removed. The ground is important for you for production. Anything in earth, there's no way you, you see, there's no way you can eat if the earth is not producing. That's why governments get scared when there are serious droughts because they know we live from the earth. Curse is a ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both, watch this, both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat, what's this? In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread, okay? Till you return to the ground, for out of it you are taken for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Why? Remember, wherever Jesus, wherever God puts the blood, he says that uh, the, an altar is there. And two things happen. God is creating an altar, but he's also answering another altar. Altar answers altar, okay? What, what what evil altar was Jesus trying to answer when he shed his blood in the Garden of Gethsemane? He was destroying the spirit and the evil altar of toiling and sweating where nothing comes easy. Everything you have to break your back. Even your marriage is not easy. Nothing is easy for you. If that if that if you identify with that right now by the decree of the Lord, randa rabaka terebe. I pray right now. Barabakate, as an oracle of the living God, as an oracle of the living God, the God who sees you, the God who knows by who knows you by name. I adjure that God. I ask that God in the name of his son Jesus, by the rod of the superior priesthood of Melchizedek, that I walk in in the name of Jesus Christ. I agree with God and I disagree with every demonic entity, with every evil altar in your life that has made everything difficult in your life. Where there has been toiling and sweating, I declare and declare by the God of heaven, I release you from it. By the God of heaven, I say, be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cancel by the blood of Jesus uh, every legal right that the devil was given by the iniquities of your forefathers and your mothers. I declare and decree that thy toiling and sweating is coming to an end. I declare that you are, pro I prophesy you as an oracle of God into a season of ease, a season of ease. What do you mean, Dr. Miles? I prophesy you into a season where where what used to be difficult to come by is going to be easy for you to come by in the name of Jesus. I remove from you as an oracle of God that evil altar. I declare it judged in Jesus' name. I declare it judged. I declare the evil altar and the spirit behind it of toiling and sweating. I declare and decree by the Holy Ghost of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare by the Holy Ghost of God, Mandara Bakande, Mandara Bakande, what was difficult to come by shall now be catalyzed by a spirit of ease. A spirit of ease. A spirit of of is is coming into your life is coming over your relationships it's coming over your 
business enterprise is coming over your career is coming over your parenting it's coming over your friendships it's coming over your connections in the name of the lord jesus christ by the blood of Jesus that was shed in Gethsemane. By the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I remind you before the council of the 24 elders, righteous judge, give justice to the blood of Jesus and all it accomplished today by setting free your people who have been put in prison cells of perpetual toiling and sweating they have been put in prison cells of perpetual toiling and sweating where nothing comes easy that day i prophesy comes to an end in the name of jesus christ over their lives i declare and declare by the god of heaven who sent jesus christ into the earth i declare that same god now sends to you jesus of nazareth to bring to you by his holy spirit times of refreshment from the presence of the lord be refreshed be refreshed with ease be refreshed with ease you are talking to you are looking at somebody who used to be a prisoner a servant of the evil altar and the spirit of toiling and sweating until god broke it as he broke it for me he breaks it for you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody ought to go in the comment section and say i receive type in i receive i receive ease of grace i receive ease of grace i receive ease of grace receive it right now mandarabamande mandarabakande i declare and decree that you shall not eat your bread anymore by toiling and sweating and breaking your back and then doing it again and again and again until we until you look like you until you look like you are 70 years old when you are only 45 the devil is a liar the devil is a liar by the god of heaven by the god of heaven who has given Given me the stewardship of the Melchizedek priesthood. I lift the road of a superior priesthood and I come against that demonic priesthood that has, that has had you bound to toiling and sweating in the name of Jesus Christ. Mandarabakande, Hirabakata, Mandarabamande, Hindarabakande. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I also declare and declare that God removes the curse of the ground of your marriage because the curse was on the ground i declare and decree right now as an oracle of god that any curse any curse any curse any kind of enchant any kind of enchantment incantation spell or hex or any kind of any curse operating on the ground of your business, the ground of your marriage, the ground of your destiny, the ground of your career, and causing things to be tough, I declare, I remind God concerning the blood that was shed in Gethsemane. I now appropriate that blood over your life in Jesus' name. Randarabakande, Hilabamakahita, Hilabamandaraba, Hilabakatarabakande, Mandaraba Mande, my God, my God, my God. Here Rabakato, in the Rabakando, Mandarabakando. My God, I'm saying, literally, I'm saying showers of favor. I'm just so showers of favor coming upon people. I just saw showers of favor coming upon people because the spirit of ease of grace, the spirit of ease of grace is coming upon you. My God, the spirit of ease of grace, the spirit of of ease of grace is coming upon you it's coming upon you some of you even your family members will be like what happened to your marriage why are you not complaining we are used to you complaining every time you say no i'm telling you there was a day there was a man of god a prophet of god a samuel type of prophet called francis miles when he declared by the road of a superior priesthood that god was releasing the ease of grace ease of grace and was removing the curse of toiling and sweating of the ground of my marriage and from that day my marriage changed 
Mandaraba, there's laughter in the marriage. There's laughter in the marriage. Maraba kakerebe. There is prosperity in the marriage. Rakarabaraba. There is prosperity. There is ease of grace. Some of you, your parenting has been hard. Your children never listen to you. You are fighting them all the time. You have never enjoyed. You have never enjoyed being a parent. God says He ends that curse. He ends that curse today in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus that was shed in on not on not on the cross but that was shed on Gethsemane that's the blood that I'm asking God to appropriate because you get the effects of the blood you appropriate that's why it's important to know where it was shed and what it was shed for glory to God randa rabakato oh rabaka handa mahiki manda ramasako ye rabakonto Mandarama hintu baba leboria kasata in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I say somebody who has been waiting, or you, you are your toiling has been you are you don't have a problem getting government contracts, but then you sweat. You have to sweat to get paid. God says it's over now. It's over now. There would be ease of grace. The, gov the same government and government agencies will begin to pay you with ease of grace. No more delivering and then having to, 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 to struggle until cash flow comes back because finally, months later, the government pays you. The devil is a liar. God says ease of grace is coming over those government countries. Contract. You'll be paid sooner than you ever thought was possible. Receive from the Lord. Randa Rabakata. Ye la bamanda rabakata. He finds his mouth, be a man of God. He be a prophet of God. It is done. I saw it as I saw it so clearly. People who are, if you are waiting on something, you have delivered your goods. It could not be even just government. Some of you, it was private companies. You have delivered your goods. You have delivered your goods. You have done your part, but you are being, but it is, they are slow walking. They payment to you. I hear God says the spirit behind it is the spirit of toiling and sweating. And God says right now that evil altar is arrested. That evil entity behind the altar is also arrested. Is a double arrest by the God who loves you. And by the blood of Jesus, shed in Gethsemane, receive that anointing. Randa Rabakuse. Oh, God. What a God receive. What a God receive. Monda Rabakata Rababanda. E Rabakata Rabamando Robo. God wants to spend more time with you than to say you'll be a slave or to life, be a slave to the to the to the demonic cycles and tyrannies of uh, toiling and sweating for everything. Just when you get a car, now it will take years before you can build a house. And then after just, oh my God, oh my God, before you know your life is over. The devil is a liar. The zeal of the Lord shall perform this miracle. The zeal of the Lord shall perform this miracle. Give God a praise. Whatever you are, give God a shout. Whatever you are, give God a shout. Give God a Jericho shout. I don't care if I don't hear you. It matters that God and the devil are both hearing you. Give going shout in the name of Jesus. That does grueling, break back, breaking efforts before you can move. Two steps are over. And by the laws of impartation, I bring you to my side of the story. From toiling and sweating to ease of grace. Everything in my life now happens with ease of grace. I do not know toiling and sweating, and God is my witness. I know it no more, but boy, I knew it for 25 years. I know it no more. It's by the spirit of revelation and mystery God delivered me. But you know, we are delivered so we can deliver others. Okay? I did not know about altars, what I know now. I didn't know about the blood, what I know now. But you are getting the benefit of my 25 years of, of bleeding through these revelations until I see God's hand upon people's lives. Somebody ought to receive ease of grace. Somebody ought to receive ease of grace. Ease of grace. Even at your workplace, there'll be ease of grace. 
As a matter of fact, I'm even seeing somebody this week, your boss will be transferred. There are some of you, your boss will be transferred suddenly because the boss was a was the was the devil's cousin. You are it, it made sure he or she made sure your job was not enjoyable. You know, they put you through toiling and put always putting the threat that they might fire you over your head and make you work like a Hebrew slave in Egypt. The devil is a liar. God said they have just been transferred. And for some of you, they just lost their jobs this week. So there are transfers. You can, I'm telling you, go to into next week. Don't be surprised. You're going to tell me Francis Miles is a prophet. As soon as I went to work, my boss was transferred. And the atmosphere at work Place change from one of strife to one of ease of grace because God wants to do that for you in the name of Jesus. And for some of you, that boss will be fired. And ceremonies, as a matter of fact, I fire them in the name of Jesus. How dare you mess with the Lord's anointed? Who are you to mess with the Lord's anointed? I fire you as an oracle of God to give that child of God ease of grace at their place of work. Not Gehenna, the name of Jesus. Montarama Kanda Bahiki, La Bariba Katoromo Siata. Now let's go to number two. What is the second drop of blood? Mbwakaramando Robosata. I just said the Lord said lupus just got healed. Lupus just got healed. Emphysema just got healed. Emphysema just got healed right now. Lupus and emphysema. Lupus and emphysema. Somebody with lupus, you have been having all kind of pain in your joints. It's like when you're walking, it's like a wheel, pushing a wheelbarrow without oil, any kind in the wheels. It's been tough. God, right now, walk. I mean, there will be not that thing where you feel, ah, because your lupus just got healed. Lupus just got healed. Emphysema just got healed. If I'm, my God, listen to me. If God just starts you, Make the devil mad and just testify. You know, who, 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 who's got who's just got healed from lupus? I want to identify. I'm gonna throw you on the board. I'm gonna throw you on the screen because I, I I I ain't joking because I know when I hear God, who just got healed from emphysema? Emphysema just got healed. You know, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, if it's you, just say to the mouse, it's me. I just got healed from lupus. I'm walking better. I'm not feeling the squeakiness in my whatever or that tiredness or me it just I'm, I'm telling you, that's just the garment of death that was upon you because of the lupus just got removed. Randa raba kata raba. When I say you, I'm going to throw you on the board. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kurama kata ba. Iterebe kotobo shat. Ooh. Maraba kata ramando robo sata. Ola ba karimando robo sikarienda. Okay, I'm seeing that. Okay, I'm looking for those two people, emphysema and lupus. And when I see you, I'll throw you on the board. There's so many comments today, but I'll find you. Okay, now it's number two. What is number two, Dr. Miles? Okay, the second time Jesus shed his blood you, you'll be born, is this. And then we are going to end here. We're going to pray some more. It's in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 26. Verse 63 to 64. This is the second time Yeshua sheds his blood. And this is before he gets to the cross. So people, all the blood of Jesus was not shed on the cross. Part of it was, part of it was not. And it's important to know where it was shed and why it was shed there and not on the cross. Matthew 26, verse 63 to 67. But, yes, but Jesus kept silent. And the high priest answered and said to him, I, I put you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, it is as you said. Nevertheless, I said to you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes saying, he has spoken blasphemy. What further need do we have of witnesses? Look now, you have heard his blasphemy. Now notice what they said. Okay. What do you think? They answered and said, he is deserving of death. 
And then in 67, then they spat in his face and they bit him. They bit him and struck and others struck him with the palms of their hands saying, prophesy to us, Christ, Christ, who is, who is the one who struck you? All right. So they struck him very, very according to, to, to Josephus and other historians. They, were struck, they struck him very, very hard that they made him bleed. It was in anger. They punched him. Okay. They punched him. They struck him on the face with feasts and roads. Okay. If you go in other versions, it's actually they were struck with roads and feasts. Okay. So what did, why was the blood shed there, saints? You know, because we see this, why the blood there? Why that and how does that relate to your struggles, what you're dealing with, and why I want to leave this on YouTube for posterity because you never know when you need to send your daughter, your son, your husband, your uncle, your cousins to this prayer marathon so they can be refreshed because even though you are here, you are hearing it live, they won't receive, hear it live, but the anointing and the glory on this video will stay forever, maybe to even increase, all right, in Jesus' name. Well, he was struck very hard with physical blows on his face, with fists and rods, the Bible says. Well, how many know our face is our glory? If somebody cuts you right now, you're going to do everything to hide it because your face is your glory, is your glory. I mean, you don't care if you are, if you are, you've got, you are cut in your, in your chest because you can always hide that with a shirt or somebody, if somebody put some, if somebody, you know, put something stupid, you know, on your, on your back, you can always hide it. But if they write something stupid on your face, it's embarrassing because our face is our glory. You know, it represents our self image and self worth. Hear what? Our face represents our glory, our self image and our self worth. Our glory, our self-image, and actually the word image means glory, okay? Uh, the word image is, means glory. Kabod in Hebrew, image, weight. Our self-image, self-worth. It is the first thing people see about you is your face. Is your face. It's no wonder both men and women, especially our, our women, hallelujah, spend millions of dollars Every year, billions of dollars actually. When you put all the contents together, women are the biggest shoppers for facial products. They, you know, why they, they are very conscientious of how they look. So, imagine if you take a woman and you cut her face, then you say, Go, get out of there. You have literally traumatized her because every day she'll be trying to cover her face because the face is her glory. Her self worth comes from there. You know, Jesus allowed to be beaten, the blood wash. And God told me, Francis. The reason the blood was shed for my face is because I wanted by my spirit. Hallelujah. Number one, I wanted to destroy the evil, evil altar and spirit of slander. Because the purpose of slander is to disfigure how people see you. Slander is like putting feces on the face of somebody where they smell to people who used to like them. Nobody want to get close. You got, you got feces over your face or you've got markings over your face that are just, oh, whatever. That's what slander does. It changes people's opinion of you and how they see you. It robs you of your self-image in the public because of the lies that now cover your face. Well, listen to me. I hear God, if you have ever been lied on today, some of you right now, you are hurting because of lies. Some of you have lost businesses, business opportunities to lies. You have lost ministry opportunities because of slander. Somebody told, some told a pastor was about to have you go and speak something that was a lie and the, and the engagement was canceled. And you are crying. Why didn't they ask me? That's not true. That's a lie. And you find the reason they canceled on you because so, so, so lied on you. Or the reason why they, that business fell through is because before you signed on the docket, on the dotted line somebody went behind your back and they lied on you you know or or maybe it also represents the lies of the enemy that where the enemy has bombarded you from childhood and told you you ain't you are worth nothing you are not some of you are actually sick in your body because your self-image and your self-worth is so shattered it's manifesting in a disease a disease in your body i'm here to tell you by the order as an oracle of god that the lord jesus christ right now is the lord jesus christ right now i just see jesus pulling 
everybody's face. I see, you know, like how you hold a somebody that you love, a child you love so adorably, how you bring the face of a man who loves a woman and is about to kiss the woman because she is everything to him. That 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 tenderness that I'm looking at your face, you are beautiful to me. I see, I just saw the Lord Jesus doing that to many faces that are watching me right now. And God tells me today, he makes you worthy by the blood that came from his face. He says, I make you worthy. Randa rabakata ramande. Manda rabakate right now by the blood of Jesus. I'm asking the blessed, the power of the Holy Ghost to fall upon you. May the power of the Holy Ghost cause the blood of Jesus to wash the slander, the lies, the low self-esteem, the low self-esteem. Of your life and of your face. Everything that has robbed your glory, has robbed your glory, your personal glory, right now in the name of Jesus. I bind the evil altar of lies and slander that have worked against you, worked against your business, worked against your, your ministry. Today I declare and declare that those are things that are cancelled by the blood of Jesus. That even the people that have walked away from you because of a lie are about to return. God's about to restore to you. He's about to restore you back to people who ran away from you because they believed the lie. They're about to give you contracts. They're about to, to give you the right hand of fellowship. They'll become friends of you again and they'll actually apologize and say, you know what? I now realize they lied on you because God is expecting Exposing the lie right now because God is returning to you. The glory of Jesus on your face is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus, every lie you have ever believed about yourself, every lie from Satan, every lie the devil has ever caused you to believe, I declare that is wiped off your memory, uh, your consciousness is wiped off. Every disfigurement of the enemy over your life is removed by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Everyone who has been told you are ugly, ugly is being removed off your face because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And the blood of Jesus atones for your face. The blood of Jesus that was shed when he was kicked, when he was punched on his face, that blood is fighting for the glory of your face. That blood is fighting for you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Karamande. Like Moses, when he came from the mountain of Mount Sinai, after spending 40 days and 40 nights in the glory, he was faced was shining like that of an angel. I see you shining just like that in the spirit. A people who begin to react to you differently because in the spirit, you are shining now like the face of an angel of God. Randa rabakate. Manda rabakate rebokanda. There is somebody because of this issue who has been contemplating suicidal thoughts. Many suicidal thoughts have come against you because of slander, because of lies. As a matter of fact, there is a woman you should have been married by now, but you left, but you actually you were engaged, and then the guy changed his mind and then went after one of your friends. You know what? There was a lie that was released. You would and mean, and God said. I'm, I'm, I'm delivering you from that lie. And God says, I'm a good God. Like Ruth, you are about to meet your Boaz as this lie that has been over you in the spirit world is wiped away by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, Karabakate, Manda Rabakato Romosaka, E Rabamanda Rabayaka. Oh, as an oracle of God, as an oracle of God, I'm praying right now. In the name of Jesus, Manda Rabakate Rabakate. I, every lie. I want you right now to agree with Jesus. Agree with God right now. Agree with God in the comment section by saying every lie about me is dead. Write those words. Every lie about me is dead. Come on, write it. Write it like you believe it. And Because your faith will be released. Your faith will be released. Your faith will be released. As you write that, write it down in the comment section. Every lie about me is dead. Write it down. Every lie, every lie about me is dead. Every lie. That, prof that is the prophetic decree you are making that's going to go to every place in the world you ever go and you have ever been. Every lie about you is dead. 
is dead. Every lie about you, you is dead. That means if it's not affecting your business, that lie is dead. If it's not affecting your marriage, that lie is dead. If it's affecting your, your friendship, that lie is dead. If it was affecting your favor, that lie is dead. If it was affecting your self-esteem, that lie is dead. Kurabakatarama. Mandarabakete. Irabakasakamando. Mandarabayakaramando. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, breast cancer on the left side of the breast is being healed. Breast cancer on the left side is being healed. That has been a pro something. Pro I mean, it's been. I mean, it's been very painful. I mean, it's terrifying. But it's a breast cancer that is being healed on the left side. You've been so terrified of having to lose your left breast. You won't have to lose it, saith the Lord. You are being healed. There is a fire around your left breast. If that's you, you are being located by the word of knowledge and God is healing you. I want you to simply acknowledge, man of God, it's me. It's my left breast that's being healed. It's on fire right now. I, I mean, there's actually an actual fire. You can feel a fire or a tingling sensation around that left breast. You are being healed from the breast cancer. I say cancer. Go! Shakaraba mandarabakate. Mandarabakate robosate. Mandarabakate rebekate. Mandarabakote rebe manda. Yarabamando. Rabakate. May the blood of Jesus. Makarabaraba. Flood itself. May your house, may your, may your mind, your soul, your will be flooded with the blood of Jesus. I fly. I ask the Holy Ghost. To fly, are you in, many of you, many of us have seen a house when so when it's flooded. The water is everywhere. It's on the sofa. It's everywhere. May your bow, may your may may your the temple of your house, may your the temple of your body and the temple of your soul, mind, your will, your emotions be flooded with the blood of Jesus. There's some people that are vomiting. There's some people that are yawning because you are being delivered from demons, uh, demonic entities that were hiding behind some of your struggle. They are coming out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, Lydia, that's it, Lydia. Just saw Lydia, the left breast being healed. What, okay? Left breast, blood clot, one stop, blood discharge, negative of any breast cancer. Doctors don't know why. Okay, you are being healed, Lydia, right now. I'm telling you, the left breast. Amen. Mandara. By the way, everybody, get ready to have Holy Communion with me. We're going to have Holy Communion by the Holy Ghost together. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mandaraba, mandaraba. I'm telling you, blood disorder, anemia, anemia, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia. There's somebody with a with a daughter of I mean about 12 years old, younger with sickle cell anemia. It's a daughter at the 12 or 11 or 10 around, around, around about there. Amen. Hallelujah. Your daughter has that sickle cell anemia. God is saying right now, I said your daughter is sitting next to you as you're watching the broadcast. She's being healed. She's right now shaking like this. That's the healing part of God. If that's you and I've located you, okay, give me a shout. Give me a, let me know, let me locate you in the comment section because I saw it very clearly like I'm in your living room with you by the Holy Ghost. Oh God, I'm telling you, there is so much deliverance. My God, there's been a baby with a very strange rash that does not seem to be going away. A baby with very strange rash. The baby is less than one year old. It's this rash, I mean, the baby sometimes just cries, you know, and sometimes until he sleeps, you know, so it can be quite painful doing this rash. You just, and God is healing the rashes of this baby. 
These baby rashes are being healed. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, you are so precious. This baby, oh, this baby, this baby is being healed, Jesus. Oh, you're healing this baby, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Oh, Since I'm telling you, I've, the, the, this is one of the strongest anointings I've felt in the studio. Well, long, it's very heavy. Every time I speak about the blood of Jesus, it never fails. I sometimes forget how awesome the blood of the Lamb is. We used to sing a song that is power, power, wonder working power. In the blood, in the blood of the love, there is power. There is power, power, wonder working power. In the precious blood of the Lamb, sometimes we forget how powerful, how awesome that blood really is. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do forget. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, Rabaka Taramando. Now, listen, saints. I want everybody to begin to prepare to have Holy Communion. We are going to seal the deal. There's been so much release. You have no idea how much the Lord has released you. Get that Holy Communion, uh, anything that can represent the blood and the, the body and the blood of Christ. We are about to seal. We'll be doing this through this um, mar prayer marathon on the blood. We'll be doing communion as we do it together. But before, we, but even as we're getting ready to do that, listen, saints. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. If you don't have my my twin box, my power twin box, dangerous prayers from the courts of heaven that destroy evil order and the battle of altars. Grab yourself a copy of this combo at francismiles.com. Amen. Get the combo, or you can get both of them on Amazon. But hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. But at the same time, I want to challenge you. If you're being, you know, you know, you don't want to be under this type of anointing and not so into this type of anointing. When the anointing is this strong, the glory is this palpable. That is when he, that is the most ideal time to sow because everything you sow in the glory multiplies faster. The reason why some of you struggle is because you are giving your finances outside of the glory, just in the humans, in the in the natural sequence of time. Yes, the natural time has got seed time and harvest, but it takes longer. But in the glory, when there's a the sound of the glory, Time collapses when you saw in the glory. That's why whenever the glory is around, I want to sow bountifully, uh, bountifully in the glory because then I reap bountifully in a very rapid uh, short amount of time. So again, yeah, I want to challenge you as God speaks to you by his spirit to sow a prophetic seed. Amen. What, what, as the Lord speaks to you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I seed into this revelation, into this revelation, okay? Hallelujah. Wrap your seed, wrap your finances around the blood, around this blood message and this anointing that is so strong today. Okay, so on the front, in, on, on your screen, you can see the different ways to give, the different ways to give. Okay, as a matter of fact, I want you to sow a seed, you know, that's the point of contact with the death of the spirit of toiling and sweating. So I want when you sow your seed, write in the comment section the end of toiling and so and toiling and sweating. Okay. So I want you to write in the comment section of your giving, write the end of toiling and sweating. Uh, you know, please make sure that it's that because when it comes through that way, I know exactly what what live stream you just watched, and now I can stand and agree with you, with myself, my intercessors, in Jesus' name. Now, now there's some people who have been saying, well, I mean, uh, the different ways to, to give that you have, I'm not able to do it. Do you have different ways that people that are in Africa can give that other than the ways you are presenting on the board? Yes, you know, you can give by wire transfer, 
you whether I mean, for those who I mean, even those who are in Australia, whatever you if you can give by any of the ways, by the, the different ways to give on the other slide, and you just want to do a wire transfer into the ministry of the man of God. This is Francis Mouse International Africa account numbers. Okay, hallelujah. So you can see what's there. Amen. We have a dollar account and a quarter account. You can send whatever account God is telling you to send it to. Amen. All the details you're going to need to affect the wire transfer is right, be, be, right there. And we'll pray for you as the seed arrives in Jesus' name. Or oh, there's a digital way of doing it where you can give by Airtel. Airtel is, an, is, a, is, an, is a phone network that is very common in about 20 African countries. So but I think it's in Botswana, it's in South Africa, it's in Zimbabwe, it's in Zambia, it's in Kenya, it is in Nigeria, in so many places. It's in Sri Lanka, even India. Okay, so the instructions of how to give by Airtel digitally are right on the screen. So we've added those two ways because many people have been asking for a long time, many, many times. Is there, is there another way? Is there another way? I keep missing some of these offerings and I want to sow a seed. Well, that's how you can do it. For now, let's have our Holy Communion by the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But don't forget, amen, for those who are sowing, do name your seed the end of toiling and sweating. Okay, name the seed the end of toiling and sweating. You know, uh, the more I understand the Hebraic culture, I have come to believe uh, in the power of naming things. Uh, name your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the end of toiling. The end of toiling. The end of toiling and sweating. Hallelujah. Because the day of ease of grace has begun. You better believe it. The, the day of, uh, of toiling and sweating has come to an end and the day of ease of grace is being released over you by the Lord. So now if everybody's got their communion ready, let's have Holy Communion together. You know, I have seen more miracles get released, financial healing, mostly healings and deliverances from demons that have oppressed people, you know, when we had the Holy Communion. This is an anointed Holy Communion as we proclaim the Lord's death till it comes. All right. So, take of the take, you know, the Bible says on the night on which Yeshua was betrayed, okay, on that fateful night, we know that night when he changed our history and split time between B.C. and A.D. Because after Jesus, life will never be the same. Okay, and so on that faithful night, he broke the bread and he gave thanks. So even as you break the bread, give thanks for the miracles that have happened today, for the anointing that you have been exposed to, for the prayers that have been spread over you. Don't ever be unthankful. That's the spirit of the last days. God hates unthankful people. He can't stand unthankful people. Okay, you want to be a thankful people. Thank the Lord for these miracles. Thank the Lord that he's still working in your life. Thank the Lord that you even stumbled upon this broadcast. Thank the Lord for his goodness. Thank the Lord for saving your soul. Okay, he gave thanks, all right? You know, and St. Paul tells us, later he says, for as often as we do this, we proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. What does that mean? We remind the devil and the principalities on his side and all the minion of demons, what Christ Messiah accomplished on Calvary's cross and on the Via Darosa. All of that you proclaim the Lord's death. In dying, Jesus destroyed the devil and, and made, made a public example of the defeating of principles and powers. The devil does not like to be reminded of, but you need to force it, him to be reminded of that. So, amen. Then when so, so when supper was ended, he took off the cups. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, the blood that has been shed for the mission of the sins of many. Let us now, saints, partake of the body and the blood of Jesus. We seal everything that has been prayed over us today by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to continue with our prayer marathon. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, 
please do. But if you are subscribed and you have you have clicked on the notification icon on YouTube, then I can tell you this, that you're not going to miss part two because we have just dealt with two places. we got five more places where Jesus shed his blood that we, you and I need to go to. And when we go there, I can guarantee you by the time we do all seven places, the level of deliverance and breakthrough and freedom you'll be walking in. You'll be like, Dr. Miles, I'm so grateful to God that I, you know, that I that I found you, that I found you, you know, I found your, your ministry. You know, my life has, would never be the same again, okay? So again, just go, you can go to my YouTube channel and just subscribe if you are not subscribed. Now, if you're subscribed, Thank God. But if you're subscribed, but you have not clicked the notification bell icon, no wonder you keep missing the notification to your cell phone or your iPad or your computer. But if you click the notification bell icon, you won't miss part two of the seven drops of blood prayer marathon. In the meantime, this prayer marathon will remain on YouTube just for you to sleep to. Do you know I sleep to some of my teach prayers? Sometimes I have slept to, I, I sleep to Joshua Selman, who's a friend of mine, Joshua, Apostle Joshua Selman in Nigeria, is a friend of mine. And sometimes there is some prayers that are powerful. So in me and Camilla, we like to sleep to those prayers, praying, hey, listen, everything we can use to fight for us, spiritual warfare, while we are sleeping, we will use it, okay? So we brought ourselves a JBL uh, boombox at night. We just do blue truth and it's, Prayers are being prayed over us while we are snoring. So you can use prayers like this being prayed over you while you sleep, okay? You know, that's why we leave it on YouTube. It's available to you anytime in Jesus' mighty name. From the, judging from a comment section, there's been many things that have happened. Hallelujah. By the way, if you, I mean, if you have been, if you have been, if you came on this call, you have had pain in your body, but the pain has just disappeared, you know, or the pain was, or was a nine out of a 10, but now it's a two out of a 10 or a one out of a 10. I just wanted to testify and give God the glory. If, if God has healed you, God has touched you, the pain is gone, you don't feel anymore, or the depression is gone, or whatever, or the spirit of heaviness is gone. And you want to testify, ain't nobody mad but the devil when you testify. I just want you to, amen. I just want you to go ahead, okay, and give your testimony. Somebody asking, uh, can we give uh, uh, through Mpesa? Through Mpesa, yes, I believe you can. I, I, I think we're going to let you know the Mpesa. We have an Mpesa number you can give to. I just forgot about it. Forgot. I just don't. I'm not. I don't know it by 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 heart. But you can call my assistant, my spiritual daughter in Kenya. Her name is Polly. Polly Gitmo. Uh, Polly Gitmo. Okay. She's my spiritual daughter in uh, Kenya, and uh, her number is seven two two five one two nine four five. 722-512945. For those who are in Kenya who would like to give an offering to the ministry through Mpesa, you can call Polly and she'll know how to help you because she knows the Mpesa number for Francis Mouse International. But you can also give by Airtel from your Kenyan phones as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I see Apostle. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. This is good. So, okay. All of some people are testifying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. New comments. New comments. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people are asking when I'm coming to Tanzania. I'm coming before the end of the year. I'm doing a crusade in Tanzania. So I'll let everybody know. Uh, and I'm also coming to Uganda in January in Kampala. For two weeks, I'll be doing a crusade. I'm bringing my equipment, my 10-wheelers. We'll be driving for three days. This is the longest my drivers have driven out of Zambia. Looking for souls will be coming to Uganda in January. But I think we'll be in Tanzania before that because we get to Tanzania before we get to Uganda. So we're going to stop in Tanzania, do a crusade in Tanzania, then move over to Uganda. Um, 
So we are try, just trying to plan all of that out in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even Sarah says, I had a vision of Dr. Mouse killing locusts on the first prayer. I'm telling you, a locust, a demon. So that's God giving you a confirmation that the prayers we have prayed today, you know, you know, I just brought deliverance. Cassie says, I do feel like something came up during this, was crying and could feel the heat of the Father God on my forehead. I'm telling God is done. There's been so many miracles today. That I know, that I know, that I know. Hallelujah, praise God in Jesus' name. Okay, hallelujah. Lord, I also pray for everybody with heart issues. People are having heart issues. If you have a heart issue or you are stand or your or, or your fam, or your loved one has a heart issue, I want to, if they are there, put your hand on their hearts. If they are not there, you put your hand on your heart and stand in proxy for your family members who are having heart trouble, heart problems. Father, I command every form of heart failure, heart palpitations, heart attack to be healed right now by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I just saw that healing taking place. That's why I had to call it out. See, when you call it out, you, I give God the... See, when, the Lord, why do you call it out? We call it out because when we call it out, we give permission to the Holy Spirit to bring deliverance. And he said, I saw serpents leaving my sister's home. I'm telling you, there's been much deliverance today as we have been praying together in Jesus' mighty name. Since I love you and I appreciate you. And again, so if you want to watch me, if you are, if you are, though, especially for those who live in Africa, if you, you know, and you want to be able to, or you live anywhere in West West, but you want to be able to watch me tomorrow, uh, I'm doing a very powerful service series called The Seven Ways to Master Your Money. It's from a place of mystery. It will blow your mind. Um, that's the series I'm taking my church, Jim Genesis, through. So if you want to join us, you can join us on Facebook uh, for our services. We start 9 a.m. Uh, Zambian time, 9 a.m. C-A-T time. That's the Zambian time. I think on the on the, on the the calendar, it says on, the, on your watch, it will say C-A time, C-A-T. So that's my church. So tomorrow, if you live in Lusaka, you live nearby, you simply, uh, you want to come and join me in the morning tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the Mulungushi International Conference Center uh, at Dream Genesis Church International, or otherwise go to Facebook and look for the name of my church and then, uh, uh, and then follow our Facebook page. Then my Sunday services will also be delivered there. They are live streamed there every Sunday. Okay. I love you and I appreciate you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Shalom, shalom. I love you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.